Hey, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. And today, we're looking at a spicy new manga series. We're looking at Volume 1 of Otaku in 2200 AD. This manga is published by Faku, and it is written and drawn by Nagashima Chaosuki. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He is also the author of Otaku and 10,000 BC. Now, I've also covered Otaku and 10,000 BC on my channel before. It's been a while since I've actually covered any hentai on my channel. Um, but this uh, manga is... I thought it was going to be a sequel to 10,000 BC, but it's not. It's its own thing, which I was surprised to see. But this uh, story stars a young man named Ota, and Ota is going through this love hotel. He just recently... Uh, got dumped by this big idol who he basically loves and, and confesses love to. And she basically turned him down. And uh, yeah, after that, he's going through his love hotel. He thinks he's still in this love hotel. Little does he know that he's not in a love hotel anymore. He's in outer space. And he might have time traveled too. Ota sees uh, these two people having uh, intercourse, and uh, this one woman, her name is Newt, she is the um, daughter of the current president of this world, and uh, she is testing out this new product called A Real Man, and uh, she is not really sexually satisfied with this, um, this uh, product that has been brought uh, forth before her. To her, I guess you could say. Come to find out why all the women are having to have sex with these real men is we find out that a lot of the men have become uh, impotent and cannot really perform with an actual woman because they end up uh, they end up getting addicted to basically like sex VR like simulators and all of them become like they can't perform basically. So as, uh, you know, this is happening, uh, she, uh, Newt is not satisfied. And um, they, they destroy this real man. They blow it up, you know, because they can't produce enough sextasy, which is this energy that they get from this rock on Mars called Mars Light. And the energy from a woman's orgasm will uh, power this rock and basically produce a lot of energy and that's actually where uh newt's mom comes into because she basically powers everything in this world um through having sexual intercourse all the time she's basically hooked up like a human battery and after this is all done with newt and this real man uh has been destroyed uh we find out that they're in this uh, holographic simulator and the only people who are left in there are these women who brought the uh, the sex doll in and Ota and Newt. And they're like, oh, my God, is this a new kind of real man? You know, what's going on here? And uh, Ota basically gives up his virginity to Newt. And uh, he ends up producing so much sexual energy with this act that he has with this woman that they're like, oh my God, this is the next best thing. You know, uh, how did you create this new man? And he's like, no, 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 I'm not this robot thing. I'm an actual person from the 21st century, you know? Uh, but they think they think he's a robot of some kind, you know? But things all are not what they seem to be. Uh, Newt ends up getting captured by this mysterious organization. It's like a sort of like a guerrilla terrorist sexual group. And Newt gets captured, and uh, we end up having this, I guess, war for Newt, a sexual war, I guess you could say, between the government and this uh, organization. And that's where I'm going to kind of leave it at that. I don't want to spoil too much exactly what's going on in this story. Now to show you some of the artwork of, I guess, some artwork, what I can actually show you guys on YouTube. But this is some of the artwork that uh, the mangaka actually produces for this particular manga. Uh, very well drawn, very big, busty women.
I personally really do like uh, this manga's art style, I have to say. This was actually a really fun, entertaining read. Uh, I, I did like the first series that uh, uh, Nagashima made, uh, but I ended up liking this one a lot more, at least for the first volume. That is, uh, I really like the art style and the art direction that he uh, went with, uh, like seeing all the different sci-fi costumes, the technology, seeing a laser gun be powered by a uh, vagina, which is crazy to see. Uh, all the, the beautiful women, I guess you could say, the over-exaggeration of the bodies will not. If you're into big, beautiful, busted women, this manga is for you, most definitely. Um, it was a fun read. I can't wait to read the next two volumes, and I hope to get more of his uh, particular uh, works of uh, manga that he makes, you know. This is for people who are over the age of 18. Uh, so if you're not 18, sorry, you can't read this at the moment, you know. Uh, you can go pick this up on Faku's website or on Amazon. That's where I actually got this at. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's a really fun read. It's crazy. It's 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 uh, insane. Uh, I was blown away and like surprised by like what kind of stuff he actually came up with. Like you know, what happens when you have sex in a zero g room with no gravity? You know, you get shot across the room after you climax. You know, stuff like that. You know, or you know, having having stuff powered by sexual pleasure is really interesting to think about you know like your cars your stuff like that there was one instance where it was which was really really funny i thought of, I, when i was reading which was which was a guy he had his brain implanted into a robotic dildo and he like got rid of his body because he couldn't perform and you know uh, uh basically uh, uh pleasure his wife which was hysterical to see um but yeah really good read uh definitely recommend it Go check it out. Otaku in 2200 AD. It's well worth a read, in my opinion.